This book is called A Humument, and it's based on a Victorian novel, which I've mucked about with, or added to, or taken the things from, over 50 years. I started it in 1966, and found this Victorian novel. Why, why choose A Human Document by W.H. Malloch, which no one had ever heard of? Well, it was a sort of bet. I was in a furniture shop with a friend, Darby Kittai, another artist, and I said, the first book I, I can find for threepence, I'll work on for the rest of my life. And the first book I found was a human document. And it was a bit of luck because a human document is very helpful. It's got a huge vocabulary, it's interesting, it's a bit dusty in the Victorian sense, but one can overcome that. One can find all sorts of uh, erotic things hidden in, in Victorian language, etc. I started it for kind of fun. Oh yeah, that's interesting, that's not bad to do. And I finished it in 1970. But then I realised I'd hardly touched lots of the matter that's in it. I, I could do better than this, so I started again in a second version, which is now finished in 2016, 50 years later. So it's a book that's lasted me a lifetime. What keeps me going is that I I think it's inexhaustible when you find a big text that's full of words to find other things in it, other possibilities that didn't exist in the original author's mind. Some things he wouldn't have liked to mention, some things have disagreed with his views. So it's a, it's a sort of collaboration and a kind of fight at the same time. I had a chance to show virtually the whole thing at the Royal Academy in 2015, and it occupied a room, uh, rather like a ship in the middle of the room, decorated with all the pages that I'd done. It was sort of amazing for me to see, you know, when you uh, see a pile of things that have accumulated over 50 years and they're all in the same place, you think, wow, that was something, at least it, it, it occupies a space in my vision and I hope in some people's minds. Nobody works on their own. There are all sorts of models that everybody has, and we have great, huge ghosts like Shakespeare and the Bible. But we also have people that we met, and uh, people like John Cage, in my case, or William Burroughs, who I had a very tough meeting with once, who criticized the book very heavily, but very instructively, uh, very useful to me. And there are bits of influence from all those Dadaists and concrete poets. Anything I can use, I will use. Anything I can borrow, I'll borrow and steal. So now, 50 years after finding the book, I think I'm saying goodbye to it. I'm winding it up. There's no more for me to do. And that seems a poetic end. And it's a wrap, as they say in the film world.